Welcome, in front of me is an iPad Pro 11 and today I'll show you how to put the device into the DFU mode. Now, before we get started, I will warn you, this process is extremely annoying and uh, if you have literally no reason to do it, don't bother even, it is such a pain, it's unbelievable. But anyway, for the process you will need a cable Type-C and you will need a computer that actually functions correctly with the iPad, otherwise it won't work as well. Uh, for some reason, my Windows-based uh, laptop decides to not function correctly, or this doesn't decide to boot into anything. Uh, but an Apple computer obviously works fine. So anyway, uh, from here we're going to plug it in, and uh, now we get this amazing sequence of, uh, of different keys that we need to hold. So I'm going to describe what we need to do before I will, I will start doing it, just so it might be a little bit easier. So we're going to press volume up, then volume down gonna hold power key and you're gonna hold power key till the screen turns off at which point once it does immediately you want to start pressing as well volume down for exactly four seconds if you see the apple logo while still holding volume down you already screwed up and you need to start over so uh, let's see if i can actually manage to get it by the first try so uh, volume up volume down power key One, two, three, four. And it didn't work. Surprises no one. So let's try that again. So again, volume up, volume down, power key. One, two, three, four. And this time it actually worked. Now the reason why I was doing this weird hand movement is because I was trying to let go of the power key but uh, still hold volume down. It is annoyingly difficult to actually do it when the device is actually laying down like this uh, because you're trying to brace it here, you're trying to also let go of this one and not make it slide around, so forgive me for that. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the device looks like it's completely off, which is not the case. I'm gonna bring into the view just the, um, the laptop screen. So you can clearly see right here, uh, it is connected and you can stop. And you can see it shows us as recovery mode. That's because Apple uh, still, after a couple decades of producing devices, still haven't managed to uh, change in their uh, code. Uh, the DFU mode is DFU mode, not recovery mode. So it shows both of the modes as a single one. Uh, but you can clearly see that this is not recovery mode because if it was, uh, you would have this little cable uh, icon on the screen with a laptop con connected. Um, so anyway, that is how you boot it into it. And if you want to leave it, it's also not straightforward because why would it be? Um, so you probably will already try holding power key, which will do basically nothing, as I will show right now. So I assume right now it should already turn on or start turning on, but as you can see it's not. So anyway, uh, to turn it on, what you want to do is again press volume up, volume down, and start holding power key. Really easy, self-explanatory. Everybody should probably know that by default. Uh, that, that is sarcasm, by the way. So, there we go, I was getting concerned here. So give it a moment and it will boot back up. And there we go, so that is how you would access the DFU mode on this device. And if you found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and thanks for watching.